easy. Well, it's easy. It's good we're practice. All, yeah. That's good practice. practice. I get it. Well, we're all having fun together. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have fun regardless, right? I mean, we are. We're yeah. going to We're about to have more. I'm, I'm having tons of fun. The thing is, a lot of people are like, just saying it super worried about nobody being here and I'm so used to it at this point <laughs> it feels fucking great this is just normal to me at this point I'm There's, away from home right yeah I, I literally posted that I actually I don't even think I'm gonna do the fucking bit I was just uh I was writing jokes today I was writing about um like about a month ago I was trying to write a joke about strip clubs like a one-liner but I was about to come here, so I was like, we're in strip clubs, and the first one that popped up was Desires. D. Desires. All right, D apostrophe Desires with a Z. <laughs> and uh, I got off of the fact of actually doing the joke because I realized that there was four reviews for this place. So I'm like, I have to read these reviews. There was only two reviews with comments on it, and uh, one was a guy named Gary that uh, opened it with like, this business is owned by Reed Property Management LLC. Uh, it used to be called Kitties. And then uh, he's like, uh, my favorite thing about it is that the stri strippers aren't all drugged out. <laughs> I'm like, I don't doubt that. Uh, yeah. And then he goes, he lists three things. He goes, ambiance, great. Cleanliness, great. And the food, really good. Overall, five out of five stars. And then the next comment was, I'm just gonna call her Mrs. Cunt. Uh, it's Coon, but uh, Miss Cunt. Uh, Cause she had a completely different opinion than my friend Gary. Uh, now she opened hers up, one star, uh, and it goes, this used to be called Rumors and then Kitties, and now it's what it is now. Which I found weird because I guess Everyone in Weird decides to review this place based off of its historical benefits. I'm like, this is kind of strange, but she goes the opposite. She goes, uh, uh, terrible ambiance, dirtiest place ever, and the strippers are all junked out, which I guess that means drugged out, whatever, we'll take it. And then she goes, you should go to Pittsburgh where the women are more attractive and their eyes aren't rolled back in their heads. <laughs> And I'm like, this is great. Uh, but then I had to sit there and think, like, whose review do I trust? Because there's only two of them. And I looked at Gary, and it, he has a star next to his name on Google Reviews that says local guy. Uh, which a lot of people would be like, that's obviously the better person to trust. But at the same time, I have a star next to my name for being a local guide in Ashgabat, Turkmenistan. Uh, and I've never been there. So, if you don't know about Turkmenistan, what up, Richie? You see what I was talking about, buddy? Hey! <laughs> we're fucking killing tonight. Hello. I don't know. We're trying to keep these three guys here as long as possible. So I've only got the hell of You are. It's like you're tied up with tits in your face again. Trishel! Please yeah, stop! God, yeah. It's funny. One funny thing. Dude, you read the post that I put in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We have this running joke about how um, her mom is dying every single time we have. Her mom died four times. Yeah, yeah. So, so my post, my post this time was uh, Trishel's mom died for a third tragic time this year in a motorboating accident. Accident. Uh, if you want to come, please shake your head no. It was a good one. It's a motor. You got tits in your face. <laughs> Trishel got it from her mom, obviously. Your name's Kenny? Oh. Who killed Kenny? Who killed Kenny? That's always a prominent question. <laughs> I've tried, I can't. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I have all these reviews in Turkmenistan, though. Know, and Turkmenistan is like a uh, very conservative dictator country. Uh, they don't have any gays there, they put them all in prison and kill them, and they don't have anyone that's not Muslim there, and they kill anyone that's not Muslim too. Second most authoritarian country in the world. Is that like that movie, The Dictator? No, that's North Korea, which is <laughs> the number one authoritarian country. Uh, what's his name? 
Trust Barry Cohen. Yeah, Trust Barry Cohen. Maybe, maybe, okay, I got it. I'm thinking, uh, what's, what's the one movie? The Interview. The Interview, yeah, when they're interviewing the guy from North Korea. Yeah, the dictator was Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, I, I don't watch movies. It sounds like so. that place. I'm sure it probably is Turkmenistan. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, Turkmenistan has a lot of odd things, like everyone has to drive white cars. Uh, you all have to memorize a book called the Runama, all these weird fucking things. But I, I basically just started doing reviews there, like testing out comedy, trying to get Turkmen people to laugh. Uh, so my first one was uh, Turkmenistan doesn't let any gays in the country. That's really gay of Turkmenistan. Uh, and it got no likes, <coughs> no likes by the Turkmenistan people. Richie, you're welcome. <laughs> <I'm glad. laughs> so, so me being the comic that I am, was like, okay, that one doesn't get them. Let's go the other way. So I was like, uh, I'll hail the great ruler, fuck gays and Jehovah Witnesses, and that got no likes either. So I was like, hey, I need to shoot it down the middle. Uh, so I, I reviewed the Ashgabat City Park, and I said, uh, this place would be a lot better if there was Wi-Fi and freedom. Got two likes, so I got my local guide on Google reviews. <laughs> That's all it took, yeah, two likes, great. Um, so when I say Gary, being a local guy in Weirton, isn't that prominent, it's pretty true. Uh, my favorite reviews from him, uh, he had one five-star review that said, uh, my meal was flawless and the uh, service was great. That was a five-star review to the Burger King in Fallsview, West Virginia. And then uh, his next one was, I got to spend time with my beloved heart emoji. I love her so much. That was a five-star review for the Arby's in Weirton, West Virginia. Uh, and then my favorite one, I think, was Pep's Deli and more in Fallsby. Uh Five-star review where he said, I sat in my car while waiting for my mom to get her cigarettes. Good times. Let's see if I can think of any fuck. Oh, this is true though too. And you missed the first part of it because it was two people doing reviews in Weird for Desire Strip Club. Okay. And Gary gave it a five star and then we named her Mrs. Cunt. Uh, <laughs> gave it a one star review. Well, I, my mic's cutting out now, so why the fuck does it matter? But. I was like, okay, I can't trust Gary with his reviews because they're kind of horseshit. And then I pulled up uh, Mrs. Cunt's reviews and uh, <laughs> she had three reviews. One, a one star for Desires and then a one star for 3323 Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> Pepperonis, weird, in which case I was furious. <laughs> I was like, this bitch is messing with the people that I love. Uh, so you probably name it. Uh, I don't know if you get updates on your own reviews, what but uh, I well hers was what it now. Oh, she didn't like. She said the food was great, <laughs> uh, cool, but she said the service was awful. And then she said she went there the next day, yeah. and the service was the same way. Sorry, Rich. But I like. It's not even gonna show up on your Google page. But I left you a five star review today that said. Uh, Mrs. Cunt should not be trusted. If you don't know who she is, she's a historian from Weird West Virginia. <laughs> so, that's all I can. You got that out of me. It's not going to show up on the pages because I said fucking cunt in the same thing. Yeah, yeah, fuck Mrs. Cunt. Her name's Stephanie. Stephanie Coons. I don't know if you guys know her, but maybe. She's been here at least twice. <laughs> so fuck her. Do you know her, Trish? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> You can find her at Desire Strip Club. She still goes, even though she gave her a one-star review. Um, I don't even know what else fucking jokes to do tonight, but I might as well keep going until you guys fucking leave. Keep <laughs> I did 26 minutes here last time. I don't even know if I told you. Yeah, might as well. I, I'm going to go until these guys leave, and then I'm going to just keep talking to you. Let's go. I, I, I'm in it. Um, let's see. Uh, I, I went to the zoo yesterday. It's just me and you right now, right? All right. Really? No? No. <laughs> well, well, I was like, I, I really wanted to go to the zoo, right? So, uh, 
The only thing is, I can't show up there because I look like this. Like, I have to find people to go with me. So I have this really hot friend that uh, has a daughter. I'm like, I need to go with her. So hopefully she comes. Well, her daughter played hooky for me yesterday. You know, all three of us went to the zoo, and that way whenever I passed other families at the zoo, they would be like, hey, this guy's doing really well, and he's not a pedophile. So, that turned out well for me. I had a good time. It was fucking hot out yesterday, too. What else do I want to fucking do? Do you guys want to hear a deer hunting joke? No? Sounds good. You'll take one. Yeah, kind of alright. <laughs> Locked in. Uh, I like to go deer hunting. A lot of people seem to have a problem with deer hunting, though. Uh, they have a problem with the idea of shooting animals. Yeah. They don't, you know, people think deer hunting is fucked up because there's like all those people that are like, you can't shoot animals, right? Those people don't understand the atrocities happening in deer hunting, so. So let me learn you something, Rich. There's three main types of deer in North America. The first one is the mule deer, which is kind of a neutral deer. And then there's the black and the white-tailed deer. The black-tailed deer is mainly located in the Pacific Northwest and in Alaska. But the white-tailed deer are located everywhere else, coast to coast. They don't. And the deer we have here in West Virginia, all right, they shit in your yard. Oh, jump out in front of your car, and yeah, you get it. Yeah, but I think the, the most important the thing is that the white-tailed deer are completely yeah, segregated from the black-tailed deer, and I think it's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, well, I'm that that. That be that. <laughs> <laughs> this may be my favorite uh, comedy of all time. 26, uh, so... Like, I, I, I thought mammals realized segregation was bad 60 years ago, but you confront these white-tailed deer about it, and they have the nerve to give you a deer in the head yeah. that's low. <laughs> And there's a philosophy in deer hunting that you should let bucks grow up and be bigger. Uh, that way they give you more meat and bear more children. That doesn't fix the previous problem though. Right? So like I thought for the longest time the saddest part of the movie Bambi was that Bambi's mother died. It turns out the saddest part of that movie is that Bambi did get shot. Fuck. Take it. What other joke? I have tons of fucking jokes for that. I don't know what all you've heard, so you're, you're giving me these kind of fake giggles, and I love it. Yeah, yeah. I want to say it's like three or four. We're two big guys with beards. We kind of connect them well. This guy is two. I didn't connect with this, though. He gave up on it. Not yet. That's true. I wonder how long I can stare at him until I can pay attention to it. What's that? Until that big big ulcer's gone? That's kind of a white girl beard, yeah. too, so. Oh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, he's my, he's right watching his calories right now, but he doesn't want to do one of us. I'm going to do one of the grab and put it in the waves. It's candy, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Why am I hammering? Uh, uh, I don't know. Do you have some nice things? There's one. Yeah. I have a brother, he's a chemical engineer, he's a really smart guy. My brother has a brother, he's a comedian, he's not that funny. It's like, uh, I got inspired by that one in the shower while watching a Yeah, we ran with it. Do you know who Michael Collier is? We'll break the fuck out. Uh, no. No. Okay. Are you just saying that for the sake of the comedy? Okay. I, I had to send you some memes. He has the funniest jokes. He's like a whole black uh, Def Jam comic. So he only played like black or black comics. But he has the best joke of all time. I don't know why I'm on this. Can I send it to someone else? I'm going to send it to you too, Trish. It is the best joke ever. I don't have the best joke ever. So. Hey, Rich, I'm pretty sure, sure that you're one of just got to be me, you, Tanner, and Trish tonight. I don't have to work till three to work on the show. Let's fuck it. Get it done. You want to go to bed? We frame it in. Like, just a bar. Well, later on. We frame it in. We'll know. We'll know once we frame it in. Why get it in the ground? Where's the other place you can go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You told me that. I think we'll premiere.
Because she used to work with us. Colin, right? Pipe. Pipe. Where the fuck's the weird guy? He never shows up this week. Neither does the host. You know what I mean? Your feet are running. You know that flange you have for your feet on the table? Yeah. You don't need any I don't know. All I know is I had to drive 40 minutes for this. That's the best time in my life. I look forward to this every single other Thursday. <laughs> I'm happy about it. Scott, you love that shit. Yes. <laughs> Trish brought up my complaints from last time. <laughs> I hey, killed that entire cheese pizza. No, it's not. We're no, I'm not going to it. It's all yeah. good. It's so sad that we're leaving. That's Stephanie's our business. Yeah, yeah. 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 she says that. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. I would say you have consumed it for two and a half Because sometimes you aren't here, and then if Trish doesn't show up one time, I'm fucking I'm telling you, you have another box. Are you set? Me and Adrian? I, I don't think Adrian's gonna show up anymore either. I have a feeling like he's probably not gonna be with us much longer. <laughs> he, he is. Uh, I was trying to write an opening joke for him at some point. I can't remember how I went with it, but uh, he's like uh, emo kid that works in IKEA. Somewhere along those, like if he was gonna like self reflect, because I had, um, what do you mean? I haven't well, told this show in a while, but I used to say, I know what you guys are thinking. This guy looks exactly like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. If he was fat, white, had a beard, a shitty haircut, a fucked up face, and you could have done parents, you'd be right. And I'd say, I also look like a bus driver, but really I'm unemployed. I kind of had to put that in the fucking bag because I got that job. It's like the number one way to run a job is to get a job. I told us this was a better job, too. I just have to be a Crowd that yeah. doesn't yeah. know who the fuck I am. I'm like, I'm still unemployed. <laughs> <I'm happy. laughs> yeah. I have hundreds of dollars in my fucking pocket. <laughs> but unemployed, I sell weed. No, I don't. I just had a guy with a pair of the explosive More than selling. I think he had. Yeah. It was for a case back in June of last year. Sure. I, I, I know it. every hole. I don't even know what you I'll tell you that. We're going to have I don't want to put him on blast. I'm like, God. Let's go. So, oh, man, I might have even me come up with yeah, it. Yeah, you just want to put it in front of me and I'll spit out the thing in my mouth. I'll eat pizza with a mic in front of me. You guys want pizza? Huh? You guys want some pizza? No, I'm good, thank you. All right, all right. I'm going to eat some Don't get it, Tanner. Come step right in front of me. Now that you put it here. I wonder how much time I had. So I, was pre, I, pre I had to earn anything I do. Minutes, I'm I'm done I've done four minutes. That is unfortunate. Two jokes, four minutes. Four, four minutes, two I jokes. Let's see. Um, um, I would always do this one. I used to go to college. Man, he's really going to stay committed to this. I am. I'm glad. Well, the thing is, I literally told Tanner right before this that I won't find this awkward. I've done it enough times. I still haven't found it awkward, so I'm fine with being committed to jokes. The thing is, like, my camera's there recording me. I, I don't get to put anything on it because there's a big sound barrier in between me and three other guys. So, <laughs> I'm still going to put this on YouTube, though, just for the fun of it. Yeah, it's not going to pick up any new audio, but I can listen to whatever conversation I have. So, like, what's that going on? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, man, I know a lot of some these guys' personal lives. <laughs> I'm glad I let Tanner go for it because my attention span was about four minutes. So, you want to go around the corner? You want to go I'll take all the time in the world. I, I love doing this stuff because I get to do like, uh, I don't get to talk to people usually. I'm like, fucking material, material. So, oh, there we go. I'll take a little. Now we're measuring for bars. Yeah. I don't even know if you guys realize. I talked about you guys for like five minutes so far. So, huh? Yeah, exactly. We're good. And it's funny because I have my phone recording this right now, so I know it's not going to pick up me at all. So whatever conversations you guys have had for the past five minutes, I'm going to listen back to later just so I can keep the lead back twice. It's going to YouTube. <laughs> it's going to be comedy gold. So 
I don't know where to go though. That's the only problem. What other, what other fucking jokes do I have? I have. What's that? You started one right before. What was it? Oh yeah, yeah, no, I do. I was saying, um, I used to go to college in Kaiser, West Virginia. Uh, and Kaiser, West Virginia is located right in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains. And, uh, the town's down the valley and up on the hill. There's a bunch of windmills. And we used to go. Unfortunately, there we go. be cool though. What is that? Oh yeah. When we figure it out, get raw when you figure it out. Yeah. So the town's down the valley, and up on the hill, there's a bunch of wind mills. Uh, we used to go up there, and we'd be drinking, smoking, listening to music. And we'd always listen to bands like Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath. Not because any of us were in that music, but man, those windmills, they're big metal fans. That's one of those really stupid jokes. I'm a big metal fan for me. Fucking killer joke. Because I love doing a stupid joke and then going to one like this. So, uh, so basically, hold like a. Uh, there's a lot of sayings in the English language, like people use the one, uh, hit the nail right on top of the head. Uh, I think they have like three inches wide for CTE before they start beating their wives. And then, there, there's one that goes on, right? Beat your wife, why not? <laughs> then, uh, people always use the saying, um, or the saying that's most important in the English language, though, is that, uh, you can lead a horse to water, but you probably shouldn't fuck them. <laughs> I like that one too. Yeah. Tell Kenny that. Don't fuck horses. Have you ever heard of Enonclaw? Enonclaw, Washington? Hey, you know, I mean, what are some of wit in our tail, man? I, I get that. Well, I said, to do. No, I get that. You should. You I should, grab a fucking stool. You should check out the story. And this is a true story. There was a. <laughs> there, there was a famous case in Enonclaw, Washington. Uh, where there was a bestiality Did club. I already my bill. <laughs> Maybe. I was going to do another shot, but never mind. You can start another job. Nah, I forget. All right. But so they, uh, there was this case where these group of men used to break into barns in Enumclaw, Washington. And, uh, it was just a joke. Probably yeah. him. He was probably there. He was probably tried for it because. Uh, County? Yes. It was no. just one horse. Washington <laughs> State, unfortunately. <laughs> But, um, this is one time. They yeah. One horse. Well, they this this is true. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they they told me I'm not even allowed back in the stables. This so this guy they 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 put in this like uh, horse attractive when they wanted horses to mate in these dudes assholes. So this guy got Kenny. Yes. Um, and the hey. and the horse's name that fucked Kenny to death was uh, named Mr. Hands. That's how he died. Yeah. He killed Kenny. It is how he died, yeah. It, they ripped his anus open with a horse's dick. Enumclaw, Washington, famous sex case. Um, <laughs> his anus is used for more than a horse's dick. Yeah. I don't know. I, I have this one guy at the casino that walks with a fucking limp because he used to. Like, you can watch him walk and. He just rode horses so much that his legs got fucking stuck that way. So he's walking like he was on a horse the entire time. He's this old, really old guy, but yeah, he just he spent so much time on horses that uh, his fucking leg got stuck that way. He walk, he walks like uh, how they walk into saloons back in the day, like with the fucking wide hips, knees pointed outwards, and comes and he bets like sixty bucks at a time. He's really fucking funny, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll say I'm not pleased. If you guys want to say hi, hey, say hi to my camera really quick. I appreciate it. Peace. Yeah. I like it. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. You guys didn't expect this to happen. So. You guys. Yeah. Have a good night. Kenny, don't get fucked by any horses, bud. All right. I'll never tell. I don't know what else I want to fucking do. Do you want me to keep going, Rich? Three more jokes. Three more jokes? I got six. All right. Wait, before you do this, did you ever watch the documentary, though? No, I haven't. But I do want to still be on camera here, bud. So we're good. I am going to post this to YouTube still, no matter how long ago. Oh, my God. You didn't even hear about it. I had, um, what was that guy's name? Eric? He comes in here every once in a while. He used to come in with that old guy that Adrian hated that ran the light. Okay, and um, this cool guy, but he literally came up in my 26 minute set and told two jokes in between it. Uh, killed harder than anything I did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 
I just didn't, I, I didn't tell really any jokes last, or two weeks ago, just because I was like, oh, crowd work and stuff. But I had to tell jokes now because I had these three guys not pay attention. This mic cutting out on me is pissing me off. Let's go. I don't, but I still want to talk into it because I can. It, it, it's such a habit. And this is for, for you as well, Tanner. I know you don't want to like not talk into the mic, but I'm doing this because it's so fucking important to stand here with a mic in front of your face when you do your fucking comedy. Yeah. So, this is what I'll do. I'll sit here, I'll turn it off, and I'll still talk like this because I can. Uh, yeah, it does. What are you? Hit it. Claw it up, claw it up. And then got that piece of all right, yeah, once people leave, Rich goes wild. That's why we're fucking partying tonight. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, I killed that entire pizza still yesterday. Or yesterday. Close enough. Uh, here, I got a few, though. Why not? Um, I got them. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Pay attention, Rich. I need you, bud. Right, so, here, here, here. Um, when I was 13, I went to Michigan at Penn State football game uh, because we knew some of the coaches that left Morgantown to go to Michigan when Rich Rod left it was 2009, and uh, they gave me a bunch of Michigan gear. We were sitting in the front row of fucking Happy Valley, okay, very front row. It's 20 feet from Joe Paul. Wow. Um, but whiteout game, packed stadium, and I went to the bathroom in all Michigan gear, and while I was on my way back, uh, some drunk Penn State fan spit on me, uh, which was really fucked up, but definitely not the worth worst thing to happen to a kid at that stadium. I'm only to drink in, I have so much spit in my mouth. I never eat. Do you eat before comedy? I never eat. I've done it before. Hey, I'll probably do it again. Eat, eat before comedy. I'll eat. I'll smoke. I'll do whatever before. I'll but smoke I too. I, I I will chain smoke cigarettes to the point that I'm almost ready to puke beforehand before ever eating. I heard like one fucking comic say one time that you shouldn't eat before you're set, so I just never do it. Really? Anymore. Yeah. So I'll, I will eat like breakfast and then starve myself the rest of the day until my set's over at like ten o'clock at night, and then I'll be like, What's that? Have you tried eating during your set? Yeah, I've thought about it. But you told me three more jokes, and I've only told one. So we're gonna tell. Keep going. Keep going. We're gonna tell two more. Keep going. Um, why not? Um, so you, don't, you, don't eat, you don't eat before your sets. You eat at ten o'clock at night. Yeah. That's where you're going. That's not you. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what. Well, that was the end of the joke. Yeah, I don't know what what joke I was saying. I said the Penn State joke. That was it. I also have the. Um, this is one I usually do with it, is that I read the book Born Standing Up by Steve Martin, and in there, uh, he quotes a comic that says, the best thing you can do at an open mic uh, is just do your jokes and make sure the waitresses are there. Shout out to Trish, but you're leaving us. Uh, it, but you should always try and make the waitresses laugh because they're gonna see every single one of your sets you do at their spot, right? Uh, unfortunately, even though that's great advice, that advice came from Bill Cosby, and the waitresses didn't laugh. <laughs> we got drugged and fucked. <laughs> I do that, oh, by the way, I'll say it, kind of mad about it, because I put in for that, I know you're on it too. Yeah, okay. It's not a joke. Oh, it's it's, a comedy festival. Yeah, that Morgantown Comedy Festival that I put in for it. And I didn't get on there, even though I tried to mortgage that Yeah, but Cody, Cody, the last time he was at his mic, still posts this on YouTube. I'm fucking at him, why not? <laughs> uh, said, this guy, become a regular, our mic, I think he's really funny, give it up for Sean Bishop. I'm like, okay, I'm a shoe in for this yeah, comedy festival I just put in for. And then, no, uh, I love the guy too. You know Logan? The kid, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bisexual? Yeah, I heard, yeah. Okay, I love that kid. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've helped him out a lot. He's on that comedy festival though. Kind of pissed. Oh, kind of that. pissed. A little bit pissed. Hey, a lot of it. It's not over. You can still slide in there, you think? Maybe if they fucking ask me. If 
say, hey, I'm not showing up more town if I don't have a guaranteed spot. I do. That's I an hour, 15 minute drive, man. Are you came here for this? I did, that's 40 minutes. But I'm not gonna show up to something that I'm not on a list for. My uh, name should be on that fucking list. I'm the best comic in West Virginia. That's, that's, that's the attitude. Yeah. I put that shit, by the way, I did, I, I said my thing about Mrs. Cunt on, on the thing, and you probably won't, you may see it if you're, you own your actual site on Google. I own a bunch of sites on Google that aren't mine Why? because, because it's, that's what I do instead of reviewing places. But it turns out if businesses haven't like uh, claimed it. filled in their info and haven't claimed it, you can claim it for yourself. And they can't, even though you can't actually get the mail or anything for it, they can't attempt to reclaim it until after a six month period. Uh, so. Then I'll get an email in six months saying that I still haven't claimed the business and then I'll reclaim it again. So there, I know, well, uh, there's one company in CityNet, really called CityNet in Bridgeport, West Virginia, pissed me off when I was in the Philippines over my internet. I'm still talking with this fake mic in front of my face. Um, yes. So I claim their business and I keep claiming it every six months. And I haven't lived in the Philippines since uh, 2019. So I'm going on three years of owning this business. Hey, thank you. you Locked underneath it. Hey, uh, that's not a joke. Just more frustrations in my life. Did you have talked to any customers on there? Hey, don't fuck about our shit. No, well, well that's the thing. It, won't let, hey, it doesn't let you talk. You uh, have to send it to because it will send the mail for the claim business to the actual place. Uh, so I don't want that to happen. So no. I just never send the mail to them to confirm it. Uh, that way, I can own the business at least a little bit so they can never update their hours or anything like that. I like that. Yeah, I know. I hate those people. Oh my God. They gave me that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not usually like cussing out people on over like the phone when I'm dealing with customer service. But... Doesn't that name sound familiar? Yeah. Stephanie yeah. Koontz. I love you call her out. I yeah, did. That's a real human. I love that you remember because she triggered you so bad talking about talking about me about, yes. oh yeah <laughs> as i said i looked at these reviews like a month ago and i'm like okay i need to do something about it so yeah i just started writing about the dash she hates desires and heaven brothers yeah in one other place i can't remember it was like a desires, desires had better service heaven brothers had better food there she is. well she said they were all like dirty drugged out whores so uh, <laughs> could have been talking about here too yeah <laughs> that's us <laughs> Comedy comes in three. That's yes, three. Terrence is fucking bucket bucket. Did you find it? Yeah. As, as I said, I don't think mine showed up. Yeah, yeah hers. No, was, I doubt it did. It as I you. said, like because I left one for the Steubenville Walmart too because it's the same hot girl I was talking about. I'm trying to inherit her kid. So oh, oh, she hates Duncan Donuts too. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Duncan, yeah. What the fuck? What a yeah. I got rear ended in that, in that line one time. It was right yeah. after I shot that commercial, and the girl said that I backed into her. <laughs> I <laughs> said, why, backwards. why in God's name would I go in, in reverse? <laughs> I told her to go, my car lights up, my seat vibrates, I've got a camera, and it has auto brakes. I would have never backed up into your car. <laughs> and she refused to believe me. You want to know what that girl's name is? Stephanie Cunts. <laughs> Stephanie Cunts. <laughs> <Stephanie Cuts. laughs> <Stephanie Cuts. laughs> She's somewhere in weird. That's all I know. She's not a dog in Desire to Pass. No. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, that's the thing. She's been, she keeps going back to Desires because she says she's been there as rumors, kitties, and Desires. It's always the same. And I'm like, she loves it, man. Yeah, and it doesn't make any sense. And then the other two reviews on it, it's just some guy without a picture. And then a girl that I'm assuming is a stripper there and wanted to impress her boss. So <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> oh, God. It's great. That's the other thing. I've never. I've always wanted to do a joke about it. I still don't know how to do it, but just how big of, you know, over in this like uh, shopping area, right when exit four, yeah. and there's just two different dance studios. There's like uh, Dance by Hillary, right. and it's the super flashy one, and then there's another one right next to it that's like Dance by Something Sisters. And I'm just like that Dance by Hillary chick must be a cunt. <laughs> so <laughs> like. Just to put up all the flashy lights, I'm like, man, it like that's the Dance Mom Studios, and then the other one is like, that's the cool one that you want your daughter to go to to be friends type deal. 
Casey sisters. Casey sisters, yeah. I drive past there all the time. It's not just, significantly smaller, right? Yeah, I know. It's just, yeah, it's just like gold leather. You. you done? I got another <laughs> fucking guy, but he's leaving right away. Is this this not the right sound when we're gone? Yep. Do you oh, like God. how I'm holding this mic without any actual sound? It's, right now? it's, it's turned off. I'm killing it. I'm, no, I, I showed it off a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying to the Tanner guy, he's just like, I don't want to move it away from my face. It's good practice. I what other fucking joke do I want to do? You want to, I have my really long Sean Bishop joke. I told this one joke one time, and it did not go over well, but I feel it's safe now for that. So, uh, <laughs> I, it's like the what. I went to Willow Station one time and did like all, I did those jokes I did earlier about the uh, rapes and pedophiles, but. There he is. There we go. We'll take it. We'll give you a little oh, flowers for him. Flowers. Thank you so much. Those are for me. Uh, it's so. Uh oh. <laughs> what did he say? Wait, what did he say? Uh, it's me. It's a gift flower instead. Oh, I see. I Phil's see. birthday is oh. oh, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to whoever it is. Love you. I was like pointing to me like. Uh, yeah, I was gonna give you See, I was. I was nice. I was feet. Before I came up here. Respectable because I always smoke for fucking Newports. I was like, I started at a gas station. I went inside, bought Newports, found up cigarettes are nine dollars now. So uh, <laughs> that's why I don't buy cigarettes. <laughs> what was it nice. What's that? What was smoke one of I mean, bought a whole pack. Bring, bring, bring that mic outside. Let's keep it going outside. I'll bring my camera with me. Why not? <laughs> this is an adventure for you two. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, what up? Uh, how does this look? Tell me, how how does this look right here? This is good. Look, look fine? Oh, yeah. Look at Tom Segura vibes, too. Tom Segura vibes? Yeah. I'll take you it. You got the new yeah. haircut. The yeah, Tom Segura vibe haircut. Well, oh, that's one that I did. I, or whatever you want to do. I'll keep holding this. <laughs> yeah, dude, take the mic outside. Why not? Darts, dude. Let's go. Well, Trish, did, did where that are kid we at? No, I don't know. Is that him in that car? No, these two cars are my employees. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he must have just fucking pieced Get out. out. He's that's like, a, fuck that's this a no goodbye? It. Yeah, I'll take a cigarette too. This is going to be one of the best YouTube videos I it's have. It's a good set. It's it a good is. set. How much time am I at? Oh, uh, you're at uh, 12 uh, minutes. A Kia. <laughs> you're, so <laughs> you're so full of shit. <laughs> We're going on at least 24? 37. 37. You're going on for 37 minutes? Why not? This may be the best set of my life. Why are you not consider it outside? <laughs> so this would be good. Hopefully my fucking story is going out. Um, I was doing uh, one, I've only told it once last week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it does. It does look like a weather report. This is not going to end this your time. This is a weather report in the 70s, just ripping a dart. <laughs> Why not? It's fucking foggy out, people. This is gonna take like two hours to upload on YouTube, too. Good stuff. Oh, I kept doing one that was, and your employee's just gonna stay here because you're like, yeah. what the fuck they're is blocked. going on? They don't on? care about us. <laughs> Headlight Sammy! The window. <laughs> but, um, get the Yo, going, Bob. Your taillights are out. Yeah, yeah, never mind, they're back on. Cool. There they go. <laughs> just save it. Save that lives. Made the YouTube video. Okay. <laughs> Today's weather. And yeah. back to Sean. Yeah, why not? Uh, but I kept doing Channel this one. Channel <laughs> yeah. we, we just were able to finally take uh, our mask off at work last month. And like it was this epiphany for everyone. Everyone was like smiling at each other. Sup, dude? Uh, <laughs> everyone was like smiling at each other. But I, I realized people weren't as a like some people were more attractive and some people were less attractive without their mask on. Uh, I realized that I'm more attractive with my mask off because when I have my mask on, uh, I just look like a skinhead. And then, and then when I take my mask off, I still look like a skinhead, but with a beard. So uh, we'll take it. That's kind. What other fucking jokes do we want to tell? We, uh, do you have any outdoor jokes since we're outside? I mean, I, I did the deer hunting <laughs> joke already. Fuck. But um, I, I have a fishing joke too. Why not? Um, I like to go fishing. Okay. <laughs> I like to go fishing. This should get a round of applause. <laughs> I like to go fishing, and I realize that fishing is a lot like dating apps. Uh, 
because it's all about what you use. And that's what I thought, but then my dad came to me one time, he's like, Sean, when you go fishing, the only thing that matters is patience. <laughs> this is the funniest, funniest thing, just because there's only one person to laugh at, it's super awkward. <laughs> but my dad would always say, when you fish, you have to have patience. And I try to be patient uh, when I'm fishing. Uh, you know, I'm on these dating apps all the time, fishing away, sometimes for hours, but uh, even after all these hours, at the end of the day, I end up uh, with my own hook in my hand. Cool, we'll take it. That's Wait, what hook? No, we are talking about fish. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I was talking about fishing and dating apps. It's a joke about how uh, I spend time on dating apps for hours, and at the end of the day, I end up just masturbating. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do I fucking have? If I could get to an hour, this would be a mere special. <laughs> 19 minutes. 19 minutes left. 19 flat. minutes for an hour? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. This is your Netflix special. Well, when I did the 26 <laughs> minutes here last time, um, it's funny because all these people were driving by like, this guy has a mic in his hand, but no actual thing connected to it. So, <laughs> um, it's a fake microphone at this point. We're waiting for Shell's boyfriend to show her all feelings in. Congratulations, my girl Trishelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'll throw in one of these really quick. Just uh, this let's guy at work, Derek, he finds it so funny whenever I say something, I just go. <laughs> just, <laughs> the head bob. Uh, I'm like. What the fuck? You gotta is get good up? with it. What's that? You gotta get good with it, not move your body at all. Uh -oh. oh no, it has to be overemphasized. Oh, okay. He, he's this light skinned guy. He's, uh, I don't know why, but all of a sudden, whenever I'm with him, I turn into like a guy that plays in front of black comics all the time. <laughs> it's, it's a, that's, a, that's whatever I pop into my Michael Collier stuff. I'm just like. <laughs> he does the head bob. The other, the other one that he loves. <laughs> We we're talking about kissing dudes not too long ago. Good one, good, good, good. And now every time uh, he says something, I just go, Derek. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! The fucker makes him cry. It's great. Uh, that's the other. That's the great thing about the fucking sports book is that like the number. Of, I don't talk to people, uh, and I also just tell them I don't know what to bet for you. So they all just think I'm stupid now. So all these people think I'm fucking. Just <laughs> I'm just like, ah, pretty fucking smart. I, you know, there's 54 countries in Africa. The more you know. The more you know. 48 in Asia, 40, 42 in Europe. Sure. And then I, somehow I don't know North and South America. Okay, okay. I, I don't have to finish it. If you want to go inside. <laughs> finish your dart, dude. Then tell us a little bit more about the weather and the traffic, though. The weather and the traffic, uh, it's breezy outside. It's going to be 40 degrees at some point tomorrow. Somehow it was 70 degrees when I woke up today. Uh, I don't think it's going to rain. I have to work at 3 o'clock. It's dark out. I'm not wearing sunglasses. I can't complete the Blues Brothers line. Traffic. Uh, stoop kid's afraid to leave a stoop. Stoop kid's afraid to leave a stoop. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I'm so happy. That's what exactly what I was thinking when I was saying that. <laughs> stoop kid's afraid to leave a stoop. And I just... Nothing I like fully tied the knot for that you. That is the only Hey Arnold episode I remember. Stupid, yeah. you're afraid to leave the stoop. What a fucking puss. <laughs> there was one also where Arnold rolled his bike down the craziest hill ever and it like melted his bike. I remember that one. I don't. I never liked Hey Arnold because I hated it. I was. I mean, you remember Hey Arnold? You're I do. Conserv How old are you? I'll, 34, you could say. See, I'm 25. Oh shit. So it's just like. I thought you were older than me, dude. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fucking. Oh, she's right though. T two weeks ago, I, I was saying, asking people, "How old do you think I was?" And she goes, "I know this, 34." <laughs> like, uh, guess what, Trish? Guess what? You're about 10 years off. That's absurd. Doug was. She goes, "Oh wait, 44." <laughs> we made All right, back indoors. Yeah, back indoors. Right, hold the door for us. I got it. I got it. Trish coming in. Her mom likes getting motor because she died. Why not? Expand the legs back out. I broke. This is cool. I, that's the second one of those tripods I've had. What, you, what, you, what were you doing with the first one that just broke? I, I put it on your fucking ledge here. Yeah. 
just to see if I could have the right angle. I'm like, that's fine. I walk over here uh, two weeks ago and it just fell off. And fell off and broke. Snap. So I had to go buy another one. Another it was fucked up. It was fucked up. Yeah, it is. It was a rough day too. That was like, I can't remember. Oh, because yeah, Adrian just fucking texted me and I got off at 7.45. I had to deal with all these shitty March Madness people. I was just, I just complained for like, the first 10 minutes of my set about these people. And then I got out work late. It's like, I'm leaving work at eight o'clock. I'm like, I have to be at work in, in an hour. I still made it before I ran home. I need a fucking nicotine pouches, by the way. I'm gonna well throw another one in. There we go. Yeah, let's close the after, <laughs> after hours. After hours. We're going as long as we can. You see how much pizza you get to take home? Yeah, I'm looking forward to Well, my fucking parents <coughs> are gone until the middle of April. We all you, Pepe. You have a whole half of Pepe. I know, and I'm going to eat. Is Shelly going to bring anyone home? No, DJ has wings. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill it all tonight. Yeah. Like I, as I said, I haven't eaten. Well, yeah. I ate at like 12 o'clock today I didn't, because I didn't wake up and eat breakfast. I was like, I'm gonna write comedy, and then I didn't fucking do it. This was the first day I actually read anything in forever, but I only wrote the stuff about the audience. Yeah, I know. Well, that's such a weird and based crowd thing to actually talk about desires. I was just hoping I had a few people that had actually been there, and then these three guys were from like PA or something. So, uh, yeah, they've been there. Oh no, they've been there. Oh, I'm How sure they have. The night, uh, <laughs> well, Gary's been there too. He's uh, from <laughs> Bay. Do you know who slept in this pizzeria? What, which comedian slept in this pizzeria last week? Oh, <laughs> last week. Yeah, last Friday. Remember last show I did here? Yeah. His, name is, his name is Trip Callahan. Oh, I love he Trip. Is Trip is the nicest. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Blind. I, I, I heard that. Yeah. You asked him blind. I didn't know either. I found out old like college football injury. Oh, really? he wasn't born with it. He's like, he's like, no, I used to be regular, and I'm going to be regular later. And well, I was like, oh, yeah. What? Is it college? I thought he got it well, and because he was on oh, the I, I don't know. Like when I met him the first time, he was on crutches, and then the next time he was on walking sticks, and he just has it all the time. Are they ski poles or walking sticks? Yeah, ski They're poles, probably. Sticks. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. I don't I go skiing. Yeah, but nobody, like, nobody, nobody's, nobody's like brave enough to ask. They're like, so you paralyzed? Like, no. Like, I was oh, like, I was brave enough. Fuck I was blind. Yeah, you were blind. <laughs> Are you blind? But my favorite one still to date is whenever uh, Kyle Fraser was in here bombing. And uh, Trish looks at him and goes, is it your first time? <laughs> oh my God. And, and he just went, yes. And I, it's the only time I've and cried your laugh. You probably like, love that. I was crying. You didn't lose it. I, I was, because I, there's nothing funnier than, to me than Kyle Frazier bombing. <laughs> it, 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 I might not think about it either, but I really yeah. thought it was his first time. I, I, I mean, I would, that, well, it was fun. So that same day, there was a guy coming up for his second time. And it was a week, like, well, two weeks after there was actually a crowd in here, and she was telling me how good I did the time before because I fucking crushed it there. And then I was, I have a huge ego, obviously, and I look at Trisha with this new guy next to me, and I'm like, I kill it every fucking time. <laughs> and then there's like five or six people in here, and I go up first like I usually do. And I got a total of five laughs in the night. Like not not five from everyone, five like individual laughs that I was able to count on. So that new guy who was going up after me, uh, and I, I remember I walked back over here and Trish was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, that's the best set of the fucking night. And that kid went up there and got zero laughs. And it was such a good feel. Oh, chance it. Oh, chance it. Was it? I'm pretty sure he was sitting like right there. I don't know. I think so. Talks, he just talks a lot. Like crazy. Wait, isn't Jason the skinny guy? He's pretty skinny. Comes in with Colin, right? No. Uh, no. He's or no he was really high the one time with three yeah. people. No, it wasn't that guy. So um, got, Jeremy? The red it guy. wasn't Jeremy either. Hey, I've only seen this guy in here once. I know who uh, Jansen is because he's been in here like yeah, twice or has. three times when I was here. Um, I have no idea. As I said, it was his second open mic ever, and he's not been back. So, I, I think I crushed his fucking dream pretty hard. 
That's great. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I and she she apologized to me last time too. Like I'm like I love I love this. This is so much better than it. But I can I know I'm gonna kill it in front of a crowd of fifty constantly. <laughs> like if I'm at one two three, I kill it damn near every time. And it's just like I'm fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. But that was the other thing. Kyle said that to me too uh, because Lish hosted it last time. Yeah. And Lish is a kill. I, I think Lish is hilarious. She but um, uh, Kyle looked at me and he's like. There wasn't much of a crowd at one two three the last time. He's just like, uh, Lish is gonna kill it, and then no one else is gonna do good. And I went up after Lish, and I fucking murdered oh, him for sixteen minutes. I just 16. the first first time I've got a light at one two three before, just because Lish's phone died in the middle of it. I was doing all new jokes. Uh, I just had people rolling because I was in character like a character the entire time. Talking about koala bears and then talking about my parents traveling. And I had a text message to the same hot girl. Uh, and I'm trying to inherit her kid. I'm going to keep saying it because she watches every video through. Ooh. So she's stuck watching an hour special right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, so shout out to her. Uh, <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm going to text. I mean, I put my phone on airplane mode. She's probably like, did this guy die on me? Uh, he died. Yeah, well, uh, she's still married. <laughs> plot twist. Yeah, yeah, plot twist. Yeah. Damn, Sean. Uh, uh, Sean's Yeah, I know. Hot water. She's probably not gonna like that I said that. Beautiful girl, though. So, shout out. Um, what else the fuck do? How much time have I done? I have to be nearing something. Let's see, let's see. 51 minutes. I got nine more minutes, guys. I've lost the attention of the two people. I was just saying that. You guys all of a sudden, you came to three guys over here before. Then there was one. Yeah, yeah. Now there's me talking to myself. Oh, my. It's unfortunate. Six more minutes to the hour, dude. Nine. Oh, oh, damn it. You maybe, maybe closer to eight. What? I was just I was just doing a number out there. I mean to say I can tell people that I've done an hour for the rest of my life yeah. now, so that's all that fucking matters. <laughs> even though it was complete like it's not shit confident. And to be honest, this can't be going much better <laughs> than what it is, you know? Like I couldn't be killing any harder in front of two people that know me very too well. We went outside and smoked during the set. Yeah, we did. So, it's got to it's never been done before. Yeah. I can't wait to be like, hey, watch my hour special and see me smoke a cigarette and tell you about weird and weather. So, <laughs> why not? And I said a few pedophile jokes in there. So, why, you know, good stuff. Uh, what are the. 54 countries. Six of them are island nations, too. Um, so we have knowledge. Yeah, it is. Uh, the Seychelles, Comoros, Mauritius, uh, Madagascar, uh, so Seychelles, Comoros, Ma Madagascar, uh, Mauritius, um, Triple Dose of Dose, these Girl Scout yeah, 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 pretty much. Uh, <laughs> South Maine, the principal, and then uh, Cape Verde are the six island nations. Yeah. And, if you, and technically, Equatorial uh, Guinea is. Um, it's capitals on an island, but it's also mainland. So yeah, that's what I did over code was learn all the countries in Africa. Yeah, that's gonna come in handy one day. Yeah, maybe. Well, I was just sitting there. I tried to learn all the presidents. Did um, it didn't go well, or no? I I definitely. If you give me like five minutes, I can remember them all again. But it's like I remember them in order. I like I couldn't do it now. You remember them out of order. No, I remember, I, well, I oh, learned them out of order first. Oh, okay. Because you got to think, it's like super easy to name something. Like everyone knows JFK, right. but you don't know what position he is. No, but right. then, like, yeah. Millard Fillmore, he's the 13th president. It's like, that's pretty fucking hard to remember, but he has a very simple name. You get really lost in the middle. Like, the first, like, 16, set, well, first, like, 18 are nice because you get to 16 with uh, Lincoln and then Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, and then you're fucking lost at all. Yes. And I only know Johnson because JFK and Lincoln both had Johnsons as after their assassinations. And then Grant 
uh, worked with Lincoln, so he came after Johnson after this. After, he was the first elected. And then from 18 to, I can't remember the number, but until 1901, whenever uh, Teddy Roosevelt uh, came in, it's just like, then you can kind of start remembering them there. And then it gets kind of easy around JFK, JFK, Johnson, Eisenhower. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see. I'll probably push Eisenhower and then um fuck. That's that's the big gap. You have Nixon in there somewhere, but Nixon comes way later. Eisenhower fifties. That's in the fifties and then Nixon comes in. There's one in between them, Nixon, Ford, Carter, uh Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Trump, Biden. There you go. But there's one in between Eisenhower and Nixon, I believe. But I can't remember who it is. Someone, some strange one. Eisen, have you ever seen that speech about Eisenhower talking about the military industrial complex? No. I, it is like one of the most wild videos. That was his exit speech. He's like, Eventually, you will see politicians uh, profit off of war. It's just, like as a general, it's just like super wild to listen and talk to. Yeah. But that was like his closing speech. The only other one that's crazy is um, the Reagan one, wherever he's like, um, if how quickly we come together if an extraterrestrial force showed up on Earth. Uh, talking about aliens showing up. <laughs> Wipe it out. Like how quickly every country would be not divided. Yeah. It's like if an alien invasion happens. It. It's like for a president to be talking about that. It's fucking absurd. It is absurd. Yeah. Um, what else fucking joke do I have? I have terrible fucking jokes. That's the only problem. I can yeah. never think of them. Um, I did. I did a mind reading one here one time. Oh, I did this one the other day, and I really do like it. And the first time I did it, I think it was the first mic I did here. Well, zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because I I showed up for the first time, and I was like, tonight I heard it was speed dating night. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, and I was like, uh, I like taking short walks on the beach. I get easily winded. And I said, I'm also an introvert. For this is the one I like. I'm, I'm an introvert from West Virginia, which means I have three friends, and two of them are racist, and one of them is black. <laughs> I love that too. Yeah. Uh, what other, oh, I, agree. I, I haven't told this one since then either, but I had a girl in college uh, look at my hands and say, damn, two of your fingers was like a full dick. And I, I said, that's unnerving because I then realized I was born with half a penis. <laughs> 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 That's true, Lindy. That's not perfect. Yeah, Lindy. I had to because I was an RA, and we were making crafts in the basement of our dorm for all the doors. And yeah, she looked at my fingers. I'm like, I'm great at fingering chicks. I get yeah. it. <laughs> and I got her huge breasts. Got right. fat fingers. <laughs> yeah. Um, her mind works so weird. For her to tell you that. Well, yeah, she would. I know. Well, she was just sitting there staring at my hands. I'm like, all right. Cool. I you can't say, wow, you have large fingers, sir. Yeah, I know. You got a couple of your fingers look like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a very nice compliment. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking to myself, like, I wouldn't mind if someone said that to me. <laughs> I would, it's, a, it's one of the best things I've ever heard. So, I'd like to get it on a t shirt. I, whenever I have merch, I'll make sure I send it to you. <laughs> yes. it's, it's free of charge. Please oh, have that your merch one. I need to make merch at some point, but I don't think I'm What would some of your merch say? Um, Adrian gave me the title of the Notorious Spider Races, but then he, he never, because I, I had a joke about, I might as well just tell it. Uh, you've definitely seen it though, is uh, my name's Sean Bishop, I'm going to be the most famous Sean, Bishop, Sean Bishop, which is fortunate because there's not many of us. Uh, like if you think about it, in 1981, the second overall draft pick in the NBA draft was a guy by the name of Isaiah Thomas. And then in 1989, a woman in Washington State named her son after him. And that Isaiah Thomas grew up to be one of the greatest point guards in NBA history. How fortunate am I that I that they weren't named Sean Bishop because my dream would have ended the moment I got cut from a sixth grade basketball team. Fortunately for me, I just have to be more famous than actor Sean Bishop. Exactly. Who the fuck is that guy? Exactly. Uh, turns out, actor Sean Bishop is famous for one movie role where he played a second, the 
secondary character, the eldest son to the main character in the 1977 classic Close Encounters of the Third Kind, which means right now it's an open mic comic. I'm second to a guy that's been out of work for 45 years. Yeah. Like, if you guys can leave here tonight, even though there's only two of you, uh, I and remember my name's Sean Bishop, I'm the most famous Sean Bishop, <laughs> right in front of a guy that is that was a secondary character uh, that I can only assume is a homeless man on the streets of Hollywood that was a secondary character in a movie about communicating with aliens. And I hate alien movies, because they're always about how do we communicate with the aliens. That's not the problem, guys. It turns out what we should be worried about is can the aliens communicate with spiders? Because if the aliens show up and just decide to wipe out the human race, they're a bunch of racists. But if the aliens can speak spider, turns out I'm the racist. I don't know if you guys have heard of this Hitler fella, but let me drop some numbers on you. He's famous for this thing called the Holocaust, where he wiped out 66% of the Jews in Europe. I killed 100% of the spiders I've ever fucking seen. Which means, if the aliens can't communicate with spiders, I'm gonna be the dickhead in every alien in history book to try to wipe an entire species off this planet. But if a spider genocide makes me the next Hitler, I'll own it. I'll vow to kill every last one of those eight-legged fucks. Because every single person in here knew who Hitler was, and I damn well you knew who actor Sean Bishop was, and I played him one. <laughs> so, eventually, Adrian was like, the most notorious spider racist. But he said that one time here, and then every following time after that, without realizing he was saying it, he would go, Sean Bishop, the notorious spider rapist. Oh, he's a rapist. And he said that all the way up until we did that show in Wellsburg. And he, and he said it, he goes, Sean Bishop, the notorious spider rapist. And then he goes, wait, racist. <laughs> and, he find, and I'm like, you know you say that every time. He's like, do I? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you've been doing it for the past three months. Yes. So I was a notorious <laughs> spider rapist for a while. I wonder if I've hit it yet. Gotta be a one hundred one. If if I'm there, I am one hundred one forty two. It's a night. <laughs> <laughs>